What's up guys? Welcome back to Vivid Lawn and Landscape. Uh, we're in the garage today. Pretty pumped. I want to uh, share something with you guys. We've been doing a lot of research, uh, looking around at a lot of different mowers on uh, Craig uh, Craigslist and um, you know, looking around at some of the shops. Not much used stuff at any of the shops locally, but ton of stuff on uh, Craigslist. And I was trying to find something that was, that was clean, that was well kept, that was uh, you know maintained properly. I know you know a lot of things you find on Craigslist just absolutely disgusting, dirty. You know, couple thousand hours, um, and I came across a 2005 Gravely walk behind. It's a belt drive. I had wanted to uh, get a hydro. A buddy of mine is a, a landscaper. I think I mentioned him in the last video. Um, He's a landscaper and he, you know, he started on a belt drive and he said, you know, if you can try and find a hydro, looked at a couple of hydros, but it would just, one of them was too expensive. It was a stand on. And, um, and then I found a, a turf tracer X mark, but it, uh, it, it had like a couple thousand hours and it was dirty and it just looked like it had been run pretty hard. So this gravely I found had 36 hours on it. Absolutely mint it was a, a residential property. Guy owned it, and uh, his son actually was a landscaper, and he uh, he never used it. Sat in his barn, didn't even run for like 12 years, uh, 10 years or something like that, he said. Um, so, yeah, went down, uh, picked it up, met him. He showed me, you know, everything about it, ran, ran me through everything. Uh, he just had it serviced, actually, at his local uh, Gravely dealer. So, I mean, it had the fuel filter done, the oil changed, the carb cleaned. Um, it was all greased up. They leveled the deck, uh, new air filter. I mean, they did everything. So it is absolutely ready to run for the season. I got a great deal on it. Um, I'm really pumped. Uh, so I'm going to try and run it out of my truck, out of the bed of my truck. We're going to see how that goes. I'm looking at a rack right now for the side so I can try and stay organized because I don't have a lot of room in the truck. So we'll see how it goes. I got a set of ramps. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm doing some research on that. We're gonna, we're gonna see how that goes. I may end up grabbing a trailer. I wanted to try and save uh, getting the trailer until maybe next season when I upgrade the mower because um, I, I eventually would like to try and find a hydro drive or even a standard uh, stand on, but we'll see, we'll see. So without further ado, here's the Gravely. All right guys, here it is, the 2005 Gravely Pro 1548G. This has got the 48 inch deck, floating deck. It's a heavy duty reinforced steel deck. I mean, this thing is absolutely bulletproof. It's got a 15 horse Kawasaki engine on there. The only thing that was wrong uh, with this mower cosmetic wise is that sticker right there. Um, brand new fuel filter uh, over here you can see. Brand new air filter, it's got brand new spark plugs. They clean the carb, they greased everything up. It's ready to run, man. This thing is absolutely immaculate. It's got all brand new blades they just put on. Uh, belt drive, like I said. I'm looking at a Sulky. Uh, the guy that sold me it is a landscaper. He's got, I don't know, five or six mowers. And he was saying, you know, you may want to try and stay away from a Sulky uh, just because I guess sometimes they can put a little bit of stress on the transmission, um, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm only about 170 pounds, so it may not put too much stress on it, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's the Gravely right there. That's going to be the rig for the summer. You guys are going to see a lot of videos of this. Um, I may, uh, I may have the, I may take the blades off and sharpen them up just to make sure that they are ready to go. Bring them over to my buddy's house. He said he's got a, a pretty sweet setup for the blades, so we'll take a look at those. But that's it, man, that's the 2005 Gravely Pro 1548G. I'm loving it, guys. I am, I am pumped for the season, can't wait, can't wait. So yeah, that's it, guys, that's the Gravely. I wanted to show you that, I wanted to jump on quick. We're, uh, we're making progress, we're getting closer to uh, opening day, so to speak, as far as getting the, uh, the cutting going. Um, good news is I actually did pick up an account um, and I think I've got two others uh, from my buddy. So I think we're up to maybe three right now to kind of kick off the season. I've got some marketing uh, stuff that I worked up. I got business cards. I got, 
some other things going on in the pipeline that we'll, we'll show you guys and we'll bring to you and we'll, we'll uh, show you as we kind of do that. And uh, so hopefully, I'm also looking at taking out an ad in a local paper um, that my buddy said he actually did get some calls when he did it, you know, years ago. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna see how that goes. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So a little bit more about the setup. So I'm gonna try and run this thing out of the truck. I've got ramps to get it up into the truck, which I've done it a few times and I haven't had any issues with it. Um, so I think, I think we'll try and start the season that way. I've got an Echo uh, PSA 225 SB, the split boom, the, the Echo trimmer that you can, uh, you can you know, take the boom off and you can actually throw on different attachments. So I've got a nice Echo trimmer. I've actually, uh, I just bought an Echo um, uh, blower, just a handheld blower. Um, I'd like to get a backpack. I'm gonna try and save that for the end of the season, you know, build up, build up some cash and reinvest some of that into a nice blower in the fall when it comes time to do spring or uh, fall cleanups rather. Um, and I'm looking at some stuff for the truck. I'm looking at a rack, a trimmer rack to kind of put on the bed of the truck, the side, so that I can, you know, put the trimmer up there and then maybe an attachment to uh, set up the blower so I can have the blower up there as well. You know, running this mower out of my truck, it's a big mower, so running that out of the truck, I'm gonna need to keep things organized and keep things, you know, uh, in their place uh, so that I have, you know, the room I need to just get the mower up and in and out of the truck. Uh, so that's the plan. I'll share more details with that as we go, but uh, yeah, that's it guys. That's the mower. That's the rig we're going to be running for the 2020 season. So come on back. Uh, we'll get some more videos up for you soon.